Hey guys, how's it going? My name is RJ Runner, and welcome back to Amnesia The Dark Descent, although it's not Amnesia The Dark Descent we'll be playing. Anyway, uh, it's been quite a while since I've touched off Amnesia, or any game for that matter, considering I'm now back at college and I rarely have any time to upload or let alone play a anything. So I thought, uh, what better way to get back into my channel than play another Amnesia costume story. Actually, I've yet to play a machine for pigs, which I might do sometime in the future. I know it's kind of old at this stage and I'm a bit late to the party with it, but oh well. At least custom stories do keep amnesia fresh. Okay, and today we'll be playing The Attic Chapter 1. So let's get into it. Derek lives with his mother. His father is said to still be serving the country, making some sort of medicine that can heal a human being by drinking some sort of substance. Derek has never been allowed past the second floor of his house, where his bedroom is... Wait. Derek has never been allowed past the second floor of his house, where his bedroom is. Alright, okay. His father's workshop takes up everything from the third floor to the attic. The story begins with Derek reminiscing about his past with his father. Derek realizes that he is now almost ready to make a family and move into his own house. He should find out what has been going on and why his dad has been missing for 16 years and why his mother has never said anything. The player, i.e. you, begins the story when Derek comes to the, re uh, to the realization and must continue through the adventure. Revealing secrets of your family's dark past that will forever bear him that will forever tear him apart. So long as nothing tears him apart first. Jeez, it was kind of that was, the last part was kind of hard to read with the font in the background. Wow. Well, Alright then, at least have the main the main text dark and color for it to stand out. Alright, oh well let's get into it anyway. then. This seems nice and peaceful. We got, a, we got a lantern. We got... Hmm. Okay. I was hoping for a bit of moonlight, but no. Oh well. That would have made things a bit more romantic. I like to be romanced. Father and I used to sit out here when Mother was tending to the guests. I was only two, so all the things that were going on are fading, are fading memory. But I remember him saying one day, Derek, one day you will want to find out everything. You're already adventurous, but no, some things should just remain in the dark. Because I was only two, my response was a mix of gargling mumbles and th that nobody understood. My father looked down at me and finished with, good boy. I know you understand. I don't think a two-year-old two would uh, comprehend the English. <laughs> oh, you can't talk today. I uh, don't think that a two-year-old could comprehend the English language, unless he's some sort of genius. Okay, so let's just assume that Derek here is a genius. Okay, got a key. Hold down the left button or the right back or the right shoulder button, and move the yeah, yeah, I know, I know how to play this game. Oh, got my nose so itchy today. Okay, we picked up a bedroom key, but what is in here? The typical amnesia gowns. Okay. Anything here? Nope. Ooh, lantern. Definitely need that. And anything into drawers like tinder boxes, matches. Nope. Okay then. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, game. I know how to play. 
I'm not stupid. Okay, it might be a little bit stupid, but I'm not that stupid. Oh. To the box. I don't plan to use a lot of those anyway. Hmm. <clears throat> 16 years have passed. Wait, hold on. Derek's Journal, April 7th, 1847, Entry 2. I should have read... <laughs> I should have read the uh, title before before on the other one. Anyway, 16 years have passed, and I've never formally met my father. The only time I knew him was when I was two. My father has not been seen for 16 years. When I started drinking pretty heavily five years ago, she always tells me that father wrote letters home and how he's considered a scientist among some. He was called into the line of duty to make a chemical weapon for the war. Nobody has ever made a weapon without something going wrong. Let's just hope I see him unhurt and okay when he returns to the war. Okay, okay fine. We're definitely giving a good bit of background story here. Derek had a really sad childhood and I can't open this without the key. Okay, there we go. Now, oh, show me some boogie woogies. I want to be scared, game. In fact, I want to be petrified. But what's more petrifying than ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics? Spooky. Oh no. Oh no. Ah, screw it. D it doesn't matter. I uh, I can only apologize for the for a bit of background noise. I don't know one of my fans is under fritz. I sure hope I can fix it because that would be just annoying in future videos. The following trophy is awarded to Elise Jackson or Elise Ellie Elise. I'll just say Elise Jackson for the pursuit of inventing ladanum. A cash award of 1,000 shillings will be rewarded to Ellis E. Jackson, his wife, Libby R. Jackson, along with their son Derek. Wait, did I read that right? A cash reward of 1 million shillings. I think I said 100,000 before. Yeah, 1 million shillings, okay, whatever. It's a million shillings. Upon completion of the sir. Okay, good. I thought it was uh, Sir Alexander who came up with that. The sound. It came from above me. Lies. There is nothing above me other than, well, a chandelier. One or two chandeliers. Okay, and I want that, whatever the hell it is. Smashy, smashy. Oh, sanity potion. See, I'm forgetting the name of, of objects. Because I haven't played this game in yonks. And the last custom story I played for the last... And the first custom story I played was... In Lucy's Eyes. Okay. The ground seems to be spazzing out a bit. But, oh well. That's all forgivable. Stairwell key. It doesn't work here. No. Of course it doesn't. Because that wasn't a freaking stairwell. Yucky dicky. I guess we'll be going down the stairs, but first I want to explore upstairs. Okay, not going in there. Nor am I going in there. In fact, I don't think I'm going anywhere but downstairs. Okay, maybe not. Okay, we found oil. We have a tinder box. And nothing else. Stay closed. And there's nothing else up here. Nope. Okay, good. Hey, stop that. Hmm. Oh, that's a stairwell. 
Okay, fine, fine. So if that's the stairwell, then I'm gonna go down here to the first floor, but I can't. Well, that was just a blatant waste of time. Beautiful. Absolutely marvelous. Uh, why can't I just automatically use these keys without having to go into my inventory? Oh. Alrighty then. I'm. I'm already a bit spooked here. Okay, I can't go in there. Hello? Hmm. Well, there's footprints leading from here into the now. They just seem to start from a very peculiar area. Right, so before I go collecting any keys, I'm just going to see if there's any more collectibles, like a tinderbox. And oil. And a note. Workstation log 6. It has come to my attention that a great leap forward in the technologies of medicine must be made. I've gathered information on herbs, blood, and everything else that could ever be possible to heal a human being. Let it be known that I, Ellis Jackson, will not rest until the serum has been made. So far, I have a working title of Let Down Em, but that will most likely change when the project is finally done. I will continue to document my findings and eventually come up with the greatest invention in the 1800s. I will go down in history. Hmm, hmm. Again, I think it was Sir. Oh, wait. Was it Sir Alex or. What was it Wilhelm? William? I don't know, I, I forget. It's the antagonist of Amnesia the Dark Descent. Any, anyway. Not this phony. Not this phony Elise, Elise, Elise Jackson or whatever her name is. Okay, now what key did I pick up? Assistance room key. I'm assuming this is the assistance room. Yeah, it is. Okay. Good, oh. Oh, I see. What was that? Written thing that says needles can be used to resonate. Yes, I know how that job works. I just want to go to close the door and be extra quiet. Can I open these? No, okay. That makes it a lot easier. Oh, and there's another note. Great, fantastic. Jesus Christ, it's no city here. Not city, bitch. No, not city, bitch. Just going to quietly smash open the glass and take my Latana. Okay, I'll read this first because it's the first one I found. Assistant Starry Entry 93. Ellis is. Wait, today is a big day. Ellis is letting me test the first version of the serum. He said it was totally stable and it should not harm me. I am very excited to see if it works, but also scared because the only way to tell if it works is that I must be injured so we plan to take a knife and cut a small gash in my arm about two inches long one and a quarter inches deep I know it will hurt and I'm really worried but I have a lot of trust in Ellis he's been working on it thus far for about six months but I've been working on it sorry he's been working on it this far for about six months day and night I bet it will work Okay, it's 9 a.m. I need to get to the workshop. You do indeed. Assistant Starry, entry 94. Phew! All went well. 
The gash looks really nasty though. We have a we have a towel wrapped around it, so the bleeding should stop, and it should stop quicker because of the ladonum. I'm not going to lie, however, it gives a powerful headache. Nauseous feeling, and I don't l feel like I am really me anymore. All of these are most likely side effects. I'll be better in an hour, Ellis says. No, somehow I don't think you will. I think you've turned into some horrible, creepy demon of the night. Assistant Starry, entry 95. Oh god, it's been five hours. I can't feel anything in my body. Ellis called me in to amputate my arm, as it has immediately become infected and has lost all blood. We're going to replace it with a metal prosthetic until we can get a real one. God save me, at least my sacrifice was for science. Uh, I don't think it was worth it though. No, I, I... I don't believe in all that mad science crap. I'm a religious man. Okay, I'm, yeah, I'm just kidding. I'm just trying to be funny, but I obviously failed and failed miserably. Hold on, I just want to check something. Oh, thank God, my... F the fan stopped making that ridiculous whirring noise. Okay, third floor. Oh boy. This looks like a place where I could get chased. In fact, more than likely I will be chased. Oh boy. I'm just gonna scope this place out first. Just get the lay of the land in case I need to make a quick escape. Okay, I'm assuming that the area back yonder way was just one big room with two entrances or two exits, whichever way you want to read it or whichever way you want to take it. Jesus Christ, that I heard something beyond me. This game is freaking me the fuck out so far. Okay, got plenty of tinder boxes at this stage. Actually, how many tinder boxes do I have? What? What on earth is that noise? I don't know if any of you can hear that. But uh, for some reason, my headphones amp amplified any noise that I hear outside my bedroom window. That's a weird effect. Shh, be quiet, Alexander. Or Will I, William, whatever your name is, I don't really give a crap at this stage. Oh, I can hear the fan again. I'll, ha I'll definitely have to take a look at that, because that is just getting on my nerves. The following recipe for Ladaunum, a working invention based in the United Kingdom. Description of medicine. Ladaunum is a herb slash organic based substance that is entered through the body via injection with needle or ingesting the serum. The medicine is designed for healing major and minor wounds. Ingredients, two quarts of human buds, krupa. Krupana vine and one pint of cartum acid. Yeah, I don't think acid would generally be a good ingredient to use. You no, know, because it kind of has that um, acidic effect, you no, know, kind of a burning effect. Oh, Jesus. This is a rather, rather large room. Large enough to be chased. Okay. Hey, give me that. And anything. 
anything else in here? Nope. Alright then. Ah, I was right. Okay then. For the what? Oh, that was just me. Going to search the other two rooms out here. Sending it out just to make it. No, it's not a good idea. I get the picture. And again, I was never sane to begin with. Jesus Christ, you're unnecessarily freaking me the hell out. Quit it. This um, is a rather pointless area. Oh, no, no, wait, no, 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 no. It had a tinderbox. Not so pointless after all. Yes, yeah, maybe a little bit pointless. I mean, you didn't need an area this big for one tinderbox. Or maybe you did, I'm not sure. I'm no expert. So. On Tinder boxes, and I already checked this room, didn't I? I did indeed. Okay, guess there's only one more place to go. And that is upstairs to the attic. At least I'm, assume I'm assuming this is the attic. It seems to be the highest point in the house. Oh, box. Do I really want to take out my lantern? I mean, do I really, really want to take it out? You know? Oh my god, there's gonna be something scary in here. I fucking knew it! Pancakes. I'm actually going to leave that open. Okay, I have a broom to make a quick getaway at least. So I'll keep it hidden. There's nothing else around here now. Nothing that I need to collect. Just a broken chair. That's all. Okay. Alright then. Uh. Oh. My good. Uh, you're not gonna jump up and try and kill me, are you? Yeah. Okay, no, I don't think you can because you're pretty much deaded. At least I hope you are. Oh, I can feel a scare coming on soon. Okay, hello, headless buddy. It's been a while. Oh dear. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. You, sir, are the devil. You and your mind tricks, even though you don't have a mind or a head to begin. Oh! Oh, there's your head. Can I pick you up? No, I can't. Oh, dear. A 
Looks like I can't put them back together again. So just that there. The Downham Log Tree. Perfect. People are coming into my shop after seeing the flyers I've put around I've put around town. This is working out very nicely. As long as they keep coming in, I can continue to sacrifice them for the blood needed until the Downham. At least they die in the name of science. I think I've successfully been able to duplicate a working version of the serum. I will lock them away and soon sell them. I'm going to be famous. Alright, back to work. <coughs> okay, I think this guy... Ellis, or Ellie, Ellie, Ellis, 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 whatever. Is doing this more so for the fame and the money, rather than in the name of science. He just seems to be using that as an excuse. Hello, monster. I know you're out there. I know you're out there and you want to scare me. But I don't scare that easily. Oh, hold on. Drawers. Let's open these up. Oh well, they're pointless. This custom story would be great if it... <laughs> Fuck! Fucking hell, that was rather creepy. What the hell? How did I not notice these before? Whoa, jeez. Ow. What the hell? Just says the not James no okay, okay, fine what what whatever. What Oh dear. I think someone uh, sucked out my soul and made me a sacrifice. Oh god, I'm not into to all this satanic shit. The notice written blood. Should not have gone in there, Derek. Daddy, is that you? Are you playing mind games on me? My blood al my blood already boils for justice. Oh, for fucking Calm the hell down, I just wanna read this. My blood already boils for justice. You had no right. You had no right to justice. Alright, wait. Yeah, it doesn't right mine. You had no right to justice. Oh wait, you had no right to Justine. My blood already boils for justice. You had no right, you had no right to... Is that justice or Justine? I'm not sure. That's... Kinda weird. Okay then. Yeah, a nice green candle lit fire or uh, a nice a nice green flame here. That's very ominous. Jesus, what happened in here? It's only gone for two minutes. Whoa! At ease. Oh my god. Oh my god, shit. <gasps> shit. Oh, yeah, now you now you turn it away. Screw you. Screw you. I think this is one of the best hiding places ever. Yeah, you're not coming for me, are you? 
when you're coming for me, but you're not going to be able to get me. At least I hope not. Uh oh, he's going. He's definitely going. Please tell me he'll just disappear. Oh dear god. Okay, I'm not looking at him. I'm not looking at him. Just piss off. Oh my god. For fuck's sake. To be patrolling the hallways. Please don't tell me that he will. that way oh shit oh shit oh shit please don't tell me he's gonna come in here why did I come in here Oh my god, he's right outside. <laughs> Shit, he's, he's gonna come in and get me, isn't he? Dear God, I'm dead. I'm dead. Okay. Fine. Do what do what you want. Okay, um Oh I need this picked up the stairwell key. Nothing else here, sir. No, there's nothing else I need. Okay, I can go back to the stairwell. I know where I, I know where to go. I know where to go. Screw you, screw you, screw you, screw you. Oh. 
Oh boy. Okay. Oh my god. You would think uh, after seeing the grunt so many times I'd get used to him, but no, you you, <laughs> you don't. You just <laughs> don't get used to something that creepy. Oh boy. Okay, so that was... Oh, this is the stairwell and amnesia custom story. So if you like it, be sure to give it a like, comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. So until next time, see ya.